Hi there, my name is Dr. Suresh Bhatina and today we are going to explore a topic that affects millions of women worldwide. I am of course talking about fibroids. If you are one of those women who are suffering from fibroids, you know that how painful and disruptive they can be. Today we are going to talk about fibroid degeneration and what exactly causes it and more importantly what you can do to treat and ease your symptoms. In this video we will deep dive into the science of fibroid degeneration and give you practical tips for managing this condition. But before we get started make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. Fibroid degeneration occurs when the uterine fibroid undergo changes causing them to shrink, change their consistency or even die off. There are four main types of fibroid degeneration degeneration including highland degeneration red degeneration cystic degeneration and also calcific degeneration highland degeneration is the most common of the bunch occurring in up to 60% of all the fibroids while calcific degeneration is the least common occurring in less than 1% of the fibroids a study by al macti et al aimed at identifying the genes that are differently expressed during fibroid degeneration the results showed that several genes including those involved in inflammation and extracellular matrix remodeling were upregulated during the fibroid degeneration. The exact reason of why a fibroid degeneration occurs is still not well understood, but some of the factors have been linked to its development including hormonal imbalances, pregnancy, menopause, or trauma to the uterus. Fibroid degeneration can cause a range of symptoms including pelvic pain, heavy menstrual bleeding, back pain, frequent urination, and also sometimes constipation. Fibroid degeneration can be diagnosed through various imaging studies such as ultrasound, MRI, or a CT scan. Your doctor may also perform a pelvic examination to feel for any abnormalities or also check the size and consistency of the fibroids. In some cases, a biopsy may be required to rule out the possibilities of cancer. A study by H. Kim et al. aimed at investigating and correlating between the MRI finding and the histopathological finding in a hyaline degeneration of the uterine leomyoma. The results ultimately showed that MRI is a very useful tool for diagnosing hyaline degeneration of the fibroids. Treatment of fibroid degeneration usually depends on the type, the severity of the degeneration, as well as the woman's age and her overall health. The two options that are available for fibroid degeneration include pain management medication and surgery. Red degeneration is a type of fibroid degeneration that occurs during pregnancy. It is estimated that up to 10% of pregnant women with fibroids experience red degeneration. Red degeneration occurs when the blood supply to the fibroid is compromised, causing it to bleed internally and turn red in color. Red degeneration can cause a range of symptoms including severe pain, fever, and nausea. In some conditions, red degeneration may also cause preterm labor or miscarriage. It is important for pregnant women with fibroids to be closely monitored by the healthcare providers to ensure that any degeneration is properly managed. Research has also shown that the risk of red degeneration is higher in women with larger fibroids and the ones that are located near the surface of the uterus. A study by MU et al. found that the risk of red degeneration was significantly higher in women with fibroids that are larger than 10 cm in diameter. Another Another study by L. Zhang et al. found that the risk of red degeneration was higher in women with sub cell or pedunculated fibroids. Treatment of red degeneration during pregnancy depends on the severity of the symptoms and the woman's overall health. In mild cases, pain management and bed rest may be more than sufficient, but in severe cases, hospitalization and surgery may be absolutely necessary. A study by F. Kang et al. found that surgery for red degeneration during pregnancy was associated with a low risk of complication and there is also a good outcome for both the mother as well as the baby. A calcified fibroid is very hard to modulate laparoscopically and needs to be retrieved either by a mini laparotomy incision or if the size is very small it can be retrieved through a colpotomy incision in the vagina. So if you are struggling with fibroids, know that you are not alone. There are many resources that are available to help you manage your symptoms and also improve your overall quality of life. I encourage you to talk to your healthcare provider about your treatment options available and also explore the other treatments that are available that might be working best for you. Remember your health and well-being are worth prioritizing over so don't let fibroids hold you back from living your best life. That's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do like and share this video and of course subscribe to my channel for more such informative videos. Take care and I will see you in the next one.